A word for our listeners. Masks of Nyarlathotep is set in the 1920s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Join us each week as our investigators follow a path of clues and attempt to save the world from an ancient evil. Starring John Quiet, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, George Chimples, Jason Hall, and Scott Troiano with Matt Quiet running the table as keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody and welcome to Nerds Domain Presents... Masks of Nyarlathotep. I'm here with Shirley. Hello. George. Colby Flood. Johnny. Hi. Justin. Hi. You'll notice we keep losing people. Oh, I mean Scott. Hi, Scott. Loom. <laughs> so, we last, laugh, less, laugh, 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 Don't we have to thank some people? Last, <laughs> left, our adventurers. Thank the sponsors. Right. <sighs> Good lord. Don't pause this. I want to thank our sponsors. George Big Digi. Bob Digi. Bob. Bob Digi. Mr. Chimples. <laughs> Scott Big Daddy T. Troiano. No. I no. That's what I was going to Shirley say. in God. When Nerds Clyde. <laughs> it was Shirley in God. God. Shirley in <laughs> God. It's like Laverne and Shirley. It was like Shirley in God. There's an NBA player named Josh Shanda. <laughs> when Nerds Collide, part of the Omega Nerds Network, Fidget Press, and John Graham, Bill Durham, Todd Jeffcoat, Brandon Black, Dave Sokolowski, Uncle Fast Eddie, Tyson Vick, James Sirius Buckhorn, and Game Paradise. Thank you one and all for supporting us, no matter how much we talk through your thinking. So when we got When Nerds Collide, Who's and then we got part of the Omega familiar. Nerds Network, that was those two separate person. things? Nope. Okay, because you would see, sound like it was like these folks, and then a different part. It's because I said it twice, because somebody kept talking over me. Who's Uncle Fast Eddie? That would be Johnny and my uncle, um, okay. Ed. And he goes Fast by Eddie. Fast Eddie, I, well, pretty cool. Awesome. He does <laughs> now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> According to his Kickstarter You know what? I, I said whatever you want to be called. That's why we're calling out God. <sighs> you got to hit him harder than that. I know. He should have to. Swim. Please don't hit God. It's offensive. Yeah, um, exactly. So, so, so has he explained his fast Eddie nickname? No. I haven't seen him since he did that. Can you please ask him and get? can we get that story we'll on a future podcast? Uh, uh, what, three weeks? What's three, Card three weeks? Game? Card game bowling. And can you get a quick ten-second blurb from okay. him? Where he introduces himself as, hi, this is Uncle Fast Eddie, and I support the Omega, the Omega Nerds Network, or the Nerds Domain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I will, we will, we will discuss this with him. Yeah, he What's supported the podcast, the, the Kickstarter. Kickstarter, so that Johnny would do him and his two grandsons. Just as, his two grandsons. Or his two grandsons as superheroes. Cool. Okay. So. Johnny's artwork's really good, guys. Yeah. It's, well, you've seen it if you're downloading this program, so. <laughs> I would hope so. If, uh, you know, you're not illegally downloading it. Through the entire web. She's not torrenting her podcast. Go. <laughs> Although I have heard um, that I have been missing the little vignettes before the before the comic, the releases of the podcasts recently that sum up some of the stuff. Like we used to have the the two panel, three panel comics. Yeah, that yeah, got I've really difficult those. because my computer can't handle it. No. Uh, I think you can not work. It's yeah, it's really uh, hard to line up the lines when they fuzz out. You can't tell exactly how they line up because right. I have pieces, I have heads and bodies. So that way you could all have different expressions, and I realized that I could go in, I know, and fix that so that they're all one piece of art for each different. But that's, but that's a pain. Yeah. that made sense, and I haven't yeah. gotten to that point. I would like to do the comics again; they were a lot of fun. Okay. But I was doing it on a machine built to do art. Yeah. So. So that's art. So you guys were putting together your uh, traveling circus group. Um, Celeste Gimbleton, her father yeah. Fosworth Gimbleton. It, uh, uncle, uncle. uncle. I'm sorry. Her, her uncle, yes. It's he uncle, is not it's, going to be my father. It's Uncle Fozzy. Uncle Fosworth. Sorry, proper names. Familiar with the relationship. Well, she could, but not the rest of us. That's why I said Uncle Fozzy for her. Is he your uncle? Could have been. Could 
What? No. He could be my no. uncle. I don't think he could be your uncle. His mom kept bringing him home. His mom kept bringing home guys and telling him was uncle, they were his uncles. Right. <laughs> um, if it was your uncle, then that would be sort of incestuous rest of your No, I'm saying he could. He, he could hopefully, your uncle. hopefully, he shall become my uncle. Oh well, yes, yeah, of course, yes, that's fine. So or we are to be wed. <laughs> I do not do that. Yes. So, um, you guys are finishing up your insidious plans. Insidious. <laughs> Stupid and terrible. Um, Mr. Cooper? It, you, will, you will make the introductions then. I will make the introductions. It has gotten late, and perhaps it is time for bed. Sure, I'm going to uh, put in an order to get some you know, desert clothes. I think I picked up stuff already. I didn't because I'm... You're not wearing a pith helmet job present in proper attire for big game hunting, as you should? Absolutely not. I suggest you should have. I'm wearing my free flowing clothing. But I'm going to get, you know, get <laughs> some um, desert gear such as the Majors would wear. Is probably what you're wearing. Yeah. Could you help me with that? I'll put in an order for my betrothed as well. <laughs> For a I'm proper, not. for a proper dress, a properly dressed lady. Yes. Just, her attire. just so you guys know, I come out looking like uh, Rachel Weisz and the Mummy. All right. You you, whereas you should probably come out looking like Eliza Doolittle from My Fair Lady, only the did you know, the light desert version. You are not pants. <laughs> not pants. <laughs> the, the, oh my God. The Rachel Weisz mm. character in the Mummy pants. Movie. Had, it was pants, but pants. it had like but a little skirt over it. The time period was yeah. appropriate. Yeah. Well, it was post World War II. It said pre. This is also pre World War II. It was post. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, okay. It was 1927. What is the French and Indian War? I'm wants, kidding. I know she, it wasn't. I'm kidding. I'm totally she wants kidding. to trawl up around in pants, and I don't. Okay, so we're gonna move forward. <laughs> Fine. I'm so when does Wilbur die? So, uh, you guys are headed to bed. We're gonna we're gonna speed this right along since we've spent twenty five minutes deciding whose name was what. <laughs> so you guys wake up in the the next morning. You assemble for breakfast. As you head to the table, um, one of the uh, attendants at the front desk brings you a note. Um, hands it to Captain. Uh, looking at it. it does seem to be in Professor Wentworth's handwriting. It says, I have uh, taken a moment to step over to the Egyptian Museum to do some further research. I will meet you guys this afternoon, hopefully back at the uh, hotel, unless I am further involved in my research. If mm-hmm. I am, I will leave a message. Does uh, anyone I, know if he really matters? <clears throat> I share this note <laughs> with Weldy and Mr. Burke. But I'm sitting there too. Yeah, we're all at the table. If he if he choo- if he chooses to share it with his fiance, it's fine. <laughs> if you choose if you choose to share it with I, our guy, I can see fine. I can see the last episode of Masters of Carlton. Everyone's dead except Well and Eva and they get married. Yes, be the because they're so insane and have bought into this like, <laughs> darling, I love you. I know we must run away. <laughs> I know it's a drop off. But we must. It would, fade upset, to black. it would upset my parents. Yes, fade to black. <laughs> Done. We'll see you next time, boys. <laughs> 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 yes, That's the game. <laughs> oh. The only thing we need to do now is to roll to see who ate a bullet, who got devoured by the monsters, and how we each died. Crazy, crazy, dead, crazy. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I see it going that way. I vote eaten by a monster. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I hope you get bullet. You get turned into a chair that's well, eternally I, cracked against yes. some guy. Nah, I think I, I think the better. Guys I, yeah. I, 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 want, I, I think it would be fitting for you to be eaten, but by which of the head? The big head? The smaller, <laughs> smaller head? The good or head? head? Or the, the head that was no. small but not quite as small as the first? Yeah, I denied that one. <laughs> an arm and the leg and head and each of them. The last one doesn't get anything. You must have the others. You get out of here. I will have eaten a bullet. She will have killed Wentworth. So should we follow Wentworth to the museum? No, I don't say that. Uh, so you like call us over and like peer over your shoulders. And yeah, I, I assume you're all at like the breakfast table. Yeah, that's when it's like delivered to the captain. Yeah. Yes, and I will uh, hand over. Oh, let you read. Hand over. Yeah. Let you read. You know, they, they seem to be excluding us. They are excluding us. What you got there? 
Looks like a letter. Thoughts? Looks like a contemplated letter. Thoughts? Uh, Weld looks like really confused. How are we supposed to proceed with our plan? If he's in the museum. What? Who went where? Went where? Who, where what, what? Went to the museum. Your chaperone. Uh, and you guys don't find that funny? Well, oh, well that seems normal. He spent no, half his time at museums. We haven't seen him since when yesterday? Maybe he doesn't like your company. Just before no. dinner. <clears throat> the way okay. you guys are kind of fought against him, I'm not sure. I, I don't blame him. Frank, Frank, Frank. Listen. I'm telling you, if he is plotting against us, you will end up dead at the bottom of the ocean. I don't know how he's going to get you there, but he'll get you there. Oh, Frank, I think you like our company just fine. Do you think that we should go visit him or leave him to his study? Are you guys turning me into the crazy lady? Absolutely not. No, we need we Fosworth, though, him into for this whole ploy to work. No, we don't. How are we going to do this without Fosworth? I don't need a chaperone. I am fine. They go to him fine. We left him in a brothel because Shouldn't his heart couldn't take the desert heat. It's fine. It's bad. Yes, I'm sorry. Your uncle Fosworth is quite taken with the prostitutes. <laughs> yes, this would be a good reaction to have, should I say that, in front of the, the people. <laughs> Well done. Checks better than you would have had me believe, Burn. Oh. <laughs> Is that I a didn't bus? Say her acting was bad. I said her shooting was better than her acting. <clears throat> Both are quite fine, in my opinion. All right. So you guys finish your breakfast, and then you are heading out to the Clive expedition. How many days travel is that, though? Uh, it's uh probably an hour and a half. Oh, I'll buy a horse or camel. Oh, well, so we can be back tonight if we want. To. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if we don't get murdered, so let's do that. Or if you don't go farther south, you could be back by lunch if you time it right. Or perhaps we could send the guide. He could make introductions, be back by lunch, and then the party could meet up with our new. Ex- yes, let's send the guide by himself. Place. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah, he's making twenty dollars for this. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. She you over 20. That's how much your life is worth by. American dollars. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was like, I I just counted out your net worth as a human being. No, I think it's the best we go as a group. Oh, yeah. Do we get a hmm? ride camels? Yes. I'd like to ride camels. Oh, I can get I can you a camel. camel. You want one hump or two? Is there a choice? No. <laughs> well, whichever one I can ride. So you guys head that way then? Yes. Yes. I'm to procure the standard camera. Okay. You guys head down to, you head down the Nile some and end up in Memphis. Um, as you approach the site, mm-hmm. you see plenty of workers, um, cooks, guides, water boys, diggers, a general, a, a small army of people working in the desert. But um, Courtney, you have to imagine this is how this works. Yes. I've seen pictures. Um, can everyone give me a psychology tool? Nope. nope. Oh, one over. Nice. Made it. Six. Made it. Okay, uh, so the two of you that made it notice that all of these all, days, all hey, all of these workers have um like sullen um kind of express uh, expressionless stares and they're silent instead of like where sometimes people would like hum or chant or sing um, nothing it's silence you guys do you notice the looks on the gentleman's figure do we know that we've been alerted to them uh yeah you you notice it now you've been alerted to it is anything out of the ordinary for how these people work around here how these people are what how people work around this region yeah that's not <clears throat> Yeah, that's not normal. No, it doesn't bode well. No. I tore my parasol. I mean, Frank. Frank, you. I know that you've not. We've said things that might seem crazy and insane to you. Might. Okay. Should. 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 They should seem crazy. Yes. Thank you, Mister Burn. Be careful. 
This could be very dangerous. Be on your guard. <coughs> now. Set us for your safety. Quite. And to piggyback on what Mr. Blood has said, the idea as such, how did you characterize these workers again? Unusual. Abnormal. Yes. You mean this gentleman here? And I just point out one of the rankings. Yes, that is not the way. Or, or do you mean that gentleman over there? Yep. Or do you mean that one down the road? Yes. You're pointing, are you pointing out people that you're looking at? No, I'm just, I'm just, okay. like, I know there's people over here, and I'm not even, I'm just, I'm looking at him the whole time while I'm going, you mean this person, or that person, or this one? They're and, all acting the same manner. Yes, and what do you think might have been something that should have made you wary of what we have said that might affect them all <clears throat> identically? Do peer around. Not one of them is happy and smiling or talking or discussing where they might get a drink of water. They're all being affected by something aggressive, something you should be worried about, something you should think is crazy, and yet, when you tell the next individual who we bring into our ranks, they think you're all perhaps crazy as well. Take note, Mr. Cooper. And on that foreboding note, I guess we ride into camp. <laughs> As you uh, head toward camp, you guys all start looking again. Uh, Mr. Captain Wilkerson and Mr. Burns will make you spot the beans. <coughs> yes. Um, you all notice that the camp is very well guarded. There are men with guns, not necessarily out, but they seem to be guarding and only guarding. And these men don't have that same stare. Um, most of them are European, you'd have, or you'd have to guess maybe like Span Spaniards with a, like a, a down more, uh, yeah, more Mediterranean um, tint to their skin. Um, Mr. Byrne and Captain Wilkerson, you both see a gentleman you've seen before, just walking with the cane, Adam Gavin. As in, shot me with two sticks, Gavin. Yep. As in. Wiped my uh, wiped uh, my backside with his curtains, Gavigan. Should be dead. Wiped your backside with yes. Okay. Yes, should be dead. How far away is he? Where is he headed? Uh, he's probably um a good hundred yards away. I mean, you you see him, but then it's like that. Oh, my, what is that? Um, and he's walking towards uh probably what you'd have to guess is the big site. However, what I would like you both to do is roll sanity. You suck. Okay, uh, Johnny, use a point. That's all I can say to Oh no! It's more, it's more startlish. So you, you failed. It's just, it's just a point. That's great. So it goes temporarily insane. <laughs> you might. No, it's not that bad on right now. Getting there. So what were you gonna ask, John? How many bodies between us and him? Like if we uh, shot, if you <laughs> shot, <laughs> no, the, the likelihood of you hitting with your current armament is low, very low. However, if you pulled a gun and shot, you were looking at probably 12 guys armed with guns that could pretty fast return fire, and then there's people with, with tools all yeah. around you. Okay. All of a sudden, like, creating a fake identity for over an hour. She's completely wasted that. <laughs> no, because she doesn't know some of his names, so we're still full. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, how... So we haven't really noticed you. Oh, I mean, the guards and the, the workers have, well, the workers haven't noticed anything. <laughs> the guards have noticed you, like, they're they're acknowledging your presence, but they're not, like, pulling guns and pointing them. They're just, Because like, we're, waiting. like, on the path. Yeah, it's they're okay. waiting. Like, we and, got and, off the path. Well, the you're going towards their dig site still, so probably when you get to, like, what they consider the boundary, they'll probably stop you and talk sure. to you. But they haven't, they, they, they're they aware of you, and they're... Is there any way we could veer off right now and not look like complete freaks? Like it would something. be clear that something is amiss if you veered off right now. There's no way to veer off without it. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was just <laughs> just Wait, could, could Everybody have, like, uh, our but our Mr. Eye? or Captain Wilkerson can be a spot. Yes. They don't. Yes. Yes. I made it. Oh, yeah. Like, I was Did you make it or fail it? I made it. Okay. Um, Captain Wilkerson has. 
slid off his his candle and is uh, loading his shotgun walking toward you. Oh, oh dear. Is uh, open? Yes. Yes. Uh, Did, uh, we... So, Shirley? Uh, gentlemen, we have a problem. What uh, person at 12 o'clock? I, we gotta, like, speed our animals forward and corral him in. Yeah, that's kind of what I, I start doing. I yeah. Yeah. So, you guys. I'm <laughs> moving away from the main road area, so if they come to what, follow what, me. What, it's... Like, you're just beelining straight towards them? No. No, so I, I, I want to. That's not what you said. I'm... That's fair. Circle you can tell us. Just to say it. We're gonna know what's Our characters happening. would see it. Unless you like I'm it. going to make my way toward Gav again, but not with the group. I don't want to just walk up to him and shoot him. I want to do this one. Like, he's here, and there. He, I want to do this one. And as they're back. coming in, I'm going to just pop him. Okay. But the idea is I'm moving away from the group, which is why I slid off the camel instead of okay. just, hey, we're going to ride up and shoot him in the face. Um, if they want to follow me, sure, but make a hard right into wherever the sand is or whatever. The... Okay. So are you, I assume you guys are going to try to silk around. So I, I kind of thought, Montague, where are you going, old boy? He just keeps He's hustling. walking. I'm hustling, yeah. Let him go. He's snapped. He's, He's lost his mind. Yes, we, I mean, we're going to die if we follow him. I, I don't want to let him go, but I don't see how... There's too many people here. Yeah, the guards have clearly taken notice now. And Do they see him walking around with a gun? Yeah, they're, they're, not, they're not, like, pulling weapons, but they, they're looking very concerned at, at the fight of you. How far away is he from us now? You could easily get to him on your camel in around. Yeah, I'm gonna ride right up. Okay. All right, follow. Okay. Follow. So we're just gonna grab him. Um, just grab him and run. But no, I'm gonna try and ride in front of him and, and just kind of lean over and be like, "You will get yourself killed." Oh, I will. End all I, of us. I will kill him first. It didn't. Shooting this is him not didn't the work. way. Shooting him didn't work last time, apparently. I points <laughs> him and nod my head. Just wait. I mean, I, I'm I'm with you. This needs to happen, but not now. There's too many people, and apparently a bullet to the face didn't do it before. We have to come at this with some kind of plan. Let's go we, see the old lady and find out what's going on here. Are we near the river? Um, not near near the river. I mean, you're, you can't you, go jump in the river. Yeah, you could. That's see not my plan. Where? where? Uh, probably back away from the. Was she headed in the direction of the river? No, heading away. From I should have asked. I would have headed toward the river. That's not what I've got. That would be my natural history is good. I'm gonna roll. Could just Actually, you uh, saw something. Captain, the they would never head towards that river. Oh, that river? Oh, okay. Not the Nile. Oh, oh, wow. that's. Oh, never mind. Then <laughs> no. I mean, unless you're really just suicidal. Just dumb. Yeah. yeah. Why? Crocodiles? Crocodiles. I mean, they literally just come up out of the water out of nowhere and drag you in and Where's drag you? down camels. Yeah. Yeah. Hippos should be in the state yeah, of the Nile. What is it? What now? It should be in the still dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. would walk there on the boat. Ooh. And you'd be up on a dock away from the water. I just want crocodiles. <laughs> really? <laughs> is that another. Alright, we got another story. Glad George to George tell someday. Good lord. This was in Kenya. Um, I'm going to roll natural history because I'm trying to think of. And I, you know, out of in character, what actually counts, anyways. Let's just pretend. What's what's a, I, I, I'm gonna look around for what might be a plausible excuse for why I left the road. All natural history, if you need me to. Uh, you're a big game hunter. Not in this persona, though. We saw a snake. Or something. We saw, we saw something. <laughs> okay, shiny. so it wasn't. Why do you pull out a gun? I was thinking like maybe. Oh, you saw a hawk. You're going to shoot or something. Maybe you guys are here tracking bandits. It's been known. Okay. And, and so you saw something. Off, maybe somebody that you thought might be of danger, and that you can see to have been just a glint of the sun, or you know that heat. And I and, and I fiance. I look up, I swoon, ah, and I fall to the sand. Okay, I, I pull out my yes. canteen and kind of splash a little bit of water and put some of this uh, One of the one of the guards does come over. Uh, he hustles. His hand's kind of on his gun, but it's more like holding it from bouncing around. Yeah. Oh, good sir, um, good sir. Uh, some aid, some aid, please. Uh, uh gentle man. Uh, and he speaks in a, a very thick, almost German accent. Uh, what can I do? What, what we're in the Smith expedition. We were just traveling through here. Our our friend has been uh, sunstroke, perhaps. Uh, uh, a, the he does bend down. Doctor? 
Is there a doctor in there? Uh, he bends down and like closures on his forehead. You are. Can you give me um, a persuade roll, Scott? Sure, to awesome. seem to seem sunstroked. I'm sure you, you've experienced it or seen it experienced once yeah. before. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh. It's a good thing he failed his uh, first date. Yeah. Um. You know something does seem to be wrong with him. What's uh? Can we get him back up on his camel and we'll, we'll take him inside out? Somebody stoke a gun. Well. Uh, I'll, yeah, we'll get the guy. We have a doctor back I in do, town. A town is about an hour away. We need to get him in shape now if he's got sunstroke. Well, help us get him back on the camel. Okay. And he helps you get the body back on the camel. Uh-huh. And then he kind of like gently grabs the rein like, to lead uh-huh. it in. Say, sir, say, sir. These guys are very untrusting. They're, they're down here on their uh, pre honeymoon. And he really should go see his own doctor. I mean, he, he has pre-existing conditions. But, but that staying out in the heat any longer, you know he's right. Keeping him out in the heat any longer if he has sunstroke is yeah. dangerous. Miss Gimbleton does have a parasol, though. Could you? Yes. You can I, wouldn't, if you want. I wouldn't want the lady to also succumb. That's oh, crazy. she is oh, quite no. certain stuff. The, the fair sex is often struck by the sun. Much more faster. Uh, all the time. Thank you. I felt the best one. All right. Are either of these two in eye shot out of, I mean, I'm over a camel, I take it. Uh, you're probably, like, sitting on the camel, but slumped forward-ish. I'm paying a lot of attention to Burn to see how he plays this. Can I eyeball either of them without the guard and seeing them? Uh, yeah, you can be, I've got the guard. You can assume you have to do, um, something. Yeah, I tried fast talk it, and you go ahead and I am, I guess. Uh, George, give me a spot. And as they're doing that, I put my hand on his yeah, on his nice. arm and the and um. The man's arm. Yeah. Touching a, a dude like that is not proper. Oh, you know what? You would know that. I wouldn't know that. It would it would be proper high society. Like uh, women wouldn't do that, but you wouldn't know that because. No, but, but she's not high society. Right. right. So she, well, but. Yeah, but you tell me in the gun. If you if you yes. are if you are if you're a shipping mogul. Your high society, you wouldn't marry below you. I would be just. I'm in San Francisco now. Anything goes, baby. Oh. I found her out west. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. No, that's. Perfect. No, I mean this is this is actual cover. Like, yeah. I mean, like we found her in the west. Yeah, no, it's fine. She's um, learning stuff. So. so. Sir, it's fine. I know my crew for a long time, and my parasol will be fine, and we can we can get him back to his doctor. Not one of the two. Yeah, go ahead. That's a two. Yep, under 62. Nice. Um, I, I still would feel better. Uh, let me at least run back to camp and get you some more water. Yes, we will um, begin walking in this direction. And he like turns appreciate. and whistles and, and makes us like a sign that you assume that everybody uses for water. And one of the other guards runs into the tent and he heads back that way as well. So I've got a spot hidden, so we're trying to tell me. What? He wants us to go into the camp. I don't think it's a good idea. I will be seen instantly. But weren't we supposed All to of us will the be. Camp? He had me chained into his, in his basement for three days. Who had you chained in his basement? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> he knows all. He knows. Who knows? Wait, what? what I, don't, I still don't understand why he pulled out his rifle and was doing whatever it was he was doing. Who had you? Gavigan is in camp. Oh, you didn't see what? it. What? I forgot you missed your spot. Um, yeah. Boo? Did you just get loud? <laughs> <laughs> Not loud, loud. But louder. Oh, no. Okay. The, the guard turns back around. Everything. You're feeling yes. better. That's good news. <laughs> well, Perhaps it wasn't sun, the sun after all. <laughs> you owe me a persuade on that. Absolutely. <laughs> and I will absolutely fail. Absolutely fail. It might have been I... something I ate. Yeah, can we do that? <laughs> sure. Sure. Oh my god. I don't know. Uh, we're the worst in the Oh, um. No, oh, 66 over 61. Oh. Oh. Why did that something I. Like, <clears throat> eight. <laughs> yeah, that's just caught by his hand. Um, you guys seem to be raising a lot of interest from the camp. Um, including at this point, uh, 
man with a walking stick who turns and Bolt. Yeah, so I that way. As soon as we see him, we take off. I'm going to kick the camera with a high yeah. gear. <laughs> um, and <laughs> as... <laughs> with the what? Do you know who I am? Uh, hypothetically, he knows who all of you are. He at least knows our name and our general description. We were all rolling up there, are. too. We did try well, to Well, in all that. fairness, that was a quick, like, battle. So, oh, yeah, no, not, I mean, he would know right. Burn. He, he would, would know probably what, know Wilkerson because he, right. he killed me. Right. And, and, Almost. and also, he knows your name, which means he probably has seen pictures of you oh, yes. at this point. So, and Whitworth isn't with you, but he would definitely know Whitworth. That would be something that he would go, oh, oh. Harvard, that's who that guy is. Because, yes. you know, Whitworth hasn't been exactly quiet about it. Yep. Okay. So we start delving away. You, he's all, oh, you didn't see him. Yeah, the, the, the guard like turns and like pulls his gun, but isn't like gonna shoot at you. He's just confused as you gallop away. Yeah. They call him a nerd. <laughs> oh God. God. They were probably thinking this way. Why are we running? Just run. We'll explain later. Um. Actually, Jesse, can you give me? You can. can you give me a ride? Where do you need to go? Oh, he's the guy that's like this. No, he would be the one that all four of you bolted. And he's like, what's going on? What? What? So, <laughs> 51. Over. Five, five. Yeah. Do any of us have ride trains? <laughs> the four of I you do. bolt. The four of you bolt, <laughs> and you're doing okay. It's not the best thing. If it gets any more hectic, you'll have to make rides. Right. Uh, poor Frank, though, is like Mr. way Hoover. back there. He's like, what's going on? And like, he spooks his own camel and turns it the wrong way and then turns it back and like, finally, when he gets to go, that's when the guard is, like, almost on. Well, Gavigan's not going to kill him. Can <laughs> 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 yeah, I just leave him behind? Yeah, I'm like, going to get God. chained up in a dungeon and into no. a cell. He's going to just talk his way out of it. I, he's got it. Yeah, he was hired by these people. He doesn't know why they ran. He's got no business. They're going to let him go. So, or, or we're going to get the second member of the party killed, the same player is going to lose the second. <laughs> I, I ride back for him. You know, so you're going to slow down and ride back for him? Yep. Uh, I say, keep going. Well, Somebody what are you else. doing? Who? That. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Say that out loud! Oh! <laughs> so, uh, as you ride back, the are you, can you give me another ride check, Jesse? Yes. Huh, 30, that's better. Um, as you're getting the camel back under control, that's when the guard snatches the reins. Um, a couple of the other guards are coming, but they're not close enough to touch. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's Can I stuff. swing at him? You could. Would you like to try? I okay. will try. Okay, then we are going to initiate combat, and uh, this is where we go to initiative. And I'm going to need uh, some numbers from you, Jesse. I'm in this combat. So, uh, I assume you're all going to sort of be in the Shirley, you're at 15. No, I'm just getting numbers. It's fine. Shirley, you're at 15. Kick him sure, in the uh, what face. You, what's your dex? Uh, 15. 15? Kick him in the face. My kick is far worse than my fist. So I'm going to fist this guy. In the face. Face. Just, <laughs> Justin Allen Kimmett. No. Hey, I just... No. <laughs> I'm using no. terminology. I wish they'd said punch. Why did they put them <laughs> yeah. punch? Why not? I don't understand. Uh, Based. Georgia at 13? Correct. Because they knew there would be two year old Scott, you're at 10. Correct. And John, you're at 9. What am I at? Uh, the dance. Oh, right. Now I have to go find freaking people. This is not how it's supposed to go, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, just tell us when we're supposed like, to kill them. Yes, it we'll is. Yeah, do it. <laughs> well, yeah, still, like, it. just doing the U-turn thing would have been problematic as well. But oh, yeah, that's problematic. Camels do not okay. U-turn here. So, though. Shirley, are you firing? No. Okay. Uh, There's no reason for you to. Frank isn't firing. Jesse, you're not firing. No. George, are you firing? I thought you were hitting. Oh, no, no we're talking about firing. Yeah. yeah, I just want to make sure... Scott, are you firing? Throne. Oh, that, no. that goes off on melee. Okay. Are you, uh, John, are you firing? That's my range. Um, Don't. I'd say, I'd say you're at 25 yards. <laughs> so we went out to infantry in this game. We're going to wipe them all out. We're going to die. Totally. If okay. I see um, you pull your gun, I'm screaming at you. Okay. Like, no, scream. More, yeah. Screaming at me doesn't hurt me. I <laughs> know. Um, I'm at, like, Put that away. What are you doing? 
Uh, <laughs> give him a chance. We need to get away. I want to shoot. A chance. I want to shoot to startle, not Ooh. injure the like, guy. Like kind of up. No, straight like, up or like, like, like dance, partner dance. One across okay, the mound. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna make you roll. Just mark okay. that you you fired the bullet. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you shoot close enough like, to him and like yeah. take, and take up the camel. It rolls over on him and kills him. Excellent. <laughs> the guard, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then, then Courtney can get no, right. no. Uh, you uh, you shoot the ground near the like guard and it startles him. Um, give me a luck roll. I am lucky. He lets go. Forty-one under forty-five. He lets go. Excellent. Um, Run. No camel. So fire. So now we're in melee. Camel. Pride? Uh, Shirley Guard. is doing nothing. Jesse. I Jesse's was, first. I was going to punch him to have him release my rage. Would you like to it's use these. your fist to push him away? Yes, I will okay. try to shove this him This will do no hand. damage. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I just want to make sure you get that. Yes, I succeed. Okay. Yay. He is now officially farther away from you. <laughs> so I have a by fist? Can you get a with a shot? No, you cannot. Really? Why not? Uh, fist can't impale at all. They have to be oh. certain weapons. Uh, now, guys, now roll a ride. Because I assume you're going to push him away and ride. Yep, seventy over five. Okay, that's not a fail. That's not a uh, terrible dramatic failure thing. <laughs> so you're okay. Uh, you kick the camel and get it moving a little bit. Uh, George, you're going to kind of go back and catch up with him and kind of escort him forward. Is yeah, come up, basically come up alongside of him. Okay, uh, Scott. Bolo time! Now, there's the guard that was next to him that's mm-hmm. not nearly as close as one of the other guards is to you guys. So you, when did that other guard come? They started coming towards, but they, so they were like, this guard was the one that came to you and these two guards, and then you guys rode this way, so this guy's actually coming so we got straight out. behind us, basically? You Double to everybody. Covering our yeah. well, uh, No, no. No, right. between us and escape is what No, Johnny's no, right. not between you and escape, but they're... So this, taking this, a quicker route. But this second, route. this second guard is closer to you than the guard that just, just got pushed away. So right, but, my, but my question is this. Which of them are closer to those two retreating uh, to potentially Probably impede, the guard that got pushed away. To impede their... Okay. I want those two. That's the guy that's going down. Okay. Bolo. I'm going to wrap him up and watch him fall off his camel. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not on camel. He's not on camel. I thought he was on camel. Oh, no. oh, oh well, then, he's, then his feet are going down. And he's, okay. he's okay. going down. Roll the dice. I remember you do damage on this. So it's like a B3 right. minus four, four. That's That's Boom! Cool. 12 under 68. Okay, you hit. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. damage I sure do. No. Um, I need a 1D4. Mm-hmm. Is that a good roll? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, then I don't know. Uh, 12 four. Four. four plus entangle. So uh, you, you catch him around the an- ankles, and you hear a loud crack as his nose probably breaks as he falls. I was hoping to snap a leg. Darn. No, no. It just dropped. Like, 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 you know. Good. So, so, teach him to touch other people's uh, camels. John, are you doing anything? No, you're not. I'm not. I'm too not far the range. We're going to call that. You guys get away. That could have that could have gone really bad. I'm just yeah. <laughs> if there's if there's any other follow, I'll, I mean I'm I'm okay. I'm particularly pissed at Mr. Gavin, and we'll take every opportunity to bolo as many of his men as I can. Um, Mr. Gavin is clearly looking at you at this point, like he's aware of you as people. Looking Would you all like to roll psychology, one. please? Is he what king? Is he chanting death ray spells at yeah. us? Death ray spells, for sure. Hey, uh, Scott, you? are you dressed yep. in your safari gear? Yeah. Ten okay. over, so he probably looks the most normal. <clears throat> and I'm Who's gesturing at him regarding his curse. So to, to start, to start <laughs> your lawnmower. I lost it. That was. That yes. was. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I made that roll, I lost it. I was done. Hey, okay. So uh, who, who who all succeeded? Okay. Uh, he there is no look of recognition whatsoever on Gavin's face. More of a what's going on out there? Oh God. Um, I, and, and, but but you're close enough to see his face. He's close enough to see yours as well. That makes sense. So he's yeah. close enough that he would have recognized you, but he doesn't seem to have recognized you. <clears throat> because and, and to the party, I will in an out of character way say when I made that recognition and then made that spot hit, uh, I was this was where I was going to die. Uh, I was just going to walk up and shoot him in the back of the head. Aww. Oh well, thanks. Right. So. Happy thoughts. Where are you guys at? When, when we see the lack of recognition, you guys want to go back? 
No. You shot no. at them no. and broke a dude's nose, probably. So what? Just a simple That's misunderstanding. That's not how help. That's just money. Money can cure all ills. She was trying to help us. That was offensive. Like, we sure couldn't handle ourselves. I'm sure we talk our way into it. I mean, I'm really good at fast talking for Swayze. Back to the hotel. You sure you guys have come out this far? You don't want yeah, to go. Yeah, we might as well go on to the. How uh, far is this? Simple the lady. It's probably another hour out to the lady. Oh, that. Well, yeah, let's go that way. So we double back and take a wide berth around the big sites. Okay. Yes. So yeah, while we're it. riding, why don't you guys tell me on who this guy was that scared you guys so much? Well, he was the one who tried to sacrifice Burn to the thing in the sky. I don't know why I ask. He kept me in his basement and tortured me for three days. Burn hit him with a chair. It puts the lotion on the skin. <laughs> 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 my my plan be damn, was to soft skin when he leave you. the road. Circle around as you gentlemen headed towards the camp, and then saddle my way up next to Mr. Gavigan, who's the gentleman with the cane, and shoot him in the head. When and then you would have been shot by twelve, twenty. Yeah. So be it. Oh. <coughs> we would have missed you. Well, then I would not have to have been shot. Then. I would have obviously then take the defensive position. We would have moved on from that. We played the pain of advance. How? So um, you, you guys head down to Owasta. Yeah. Just a humanitarian. Do, do any of you indicate that he didn't recognize us? Do you notice that? I, <laughs> I guess, yeah. Oh, I, I failed just, my perception on that. No, I was just I, like, oh. kill, kill, kill. I got it. I guess, yeah. I'm so he, he was acting like he didn't know who we were. It was almost believable. Maybe you didn't leave a large impact on his life. Oh, no. I beat him and his manservant with a chair. The professor shot him in the face with a shotgun. tortured me for three days. He nearly killed me. I dare say that we left quite an impression. Now, this brings to me two possibilities. One would be that he has returned from death with no memory of what came before. Or that we dealt with an imposter. Which time? Now or before? We slaughtered nearly exactly. a third of his men, burnt his estate to the ground, and destroyed his attempt to sacrifice Mr. Byrne. One doesn't merely forget that on a bad day. Which brings me to the point of, I don't, if, if bullets didn't kill him before, shooting him again probably isn't going to do as much. much <laughs> It'll as make me feel better. Well, I don't, yes, I don't argue that point. The sentiment I support, but the the process is not going to be successful. Well, then this time we kill him with fire. Fine. Whatever it is. If yes. it is the same individual. We should inquire to see if Mr. Gavigan perhaps came here before we encountered Mr. Gavigan at his estate. How could he have came here before you? If someone took on his aspect, took on his guise, was pretending to be him, and was leading the cultish activities, while the real Mr. Gavigan was here, that would be One possibility. Quite an elaborate ploy. I mean, as I said, and these are elaborate people we are dealing with. But I was, I mean, I was held in the in the estate. And I saw the man. This was the same man, right, Jim? What well, now? I'm sorry. I saw Gavigan. Yes. Both well, how times. do you know that was him? We've seen that they have the ability to change I their form. Saw him. We well, okay, saw yeah. him. I could have been introduced as Gavigan. How do you know it was him? Because it looks I like I'm missing. I, just, I spent time with him. I was tortured by him. I know, I'm saying there may be two gathers. How two do you know could he have that had Gavigan was Gavigan? Did no. you know him? Did you work with him? Did you get a picture of him? Have you seen him in the newspaper? <coughs> How did you know it was him when you were being tortured by him? When I could see his face. When we Other drove. people called him Gavigan. Granted. That could be people in all the boys. I, well, I just, I, I disagree. Was there was pictures Gavigan. in the newspaper that said that you've seen and you knew that that was him? I'm asking you how you knew it was him. Because he told me, well, hi, you, my name is Edwin Gavigan. And if it's a boy, uh, that I, would be a lie. If his name was John Smith, if he told me in England his name was John Smith, and I saw John Smith here today, I would still see the same man. Yes, I saw a corpse walking around. Okay. 
Can I make a call check to see if there's a possibility of somebody being raised from the dead losing memory, or if that's a common tie? Yeah, I don't have that. Mm-hmm. Okay. as well? Yeah, no idea. Somebody have an idea. Hi, Claire. Uh, there are plenty of rituals and other writings. Sure. Talking about it, uh, especially in the East, um, but you've never heard of anything successful. Mm-hmm. Just that, yeah, oh yeah, totally, totally works. But what about linkages just the memory loss? Um, memory loss accompanies some mm-hmm. of those rumors, but not all. Yes. Well, in my studies in the East, I know that there are rumors of resurrection spells. This is definitely a possibility. Memory may be a factor in that. You come back, but not all of you comes back. So, I mean, saying that is one possibility. I'm saying an imposter may be another possibility. I'm not saying that you did not see what you saw. I absolutely believe you saw what you saw. I'm saying we're dealing with magic here. Right. So, what? they have unimaginable powers. Yes. Resurrection of the dead <laughs> in itself could be. That, that's a small, that's small potatoes compared to what we've seen. Things coming out of cracks in the sky. We have seen the dead walk. That thing that was in the bottom of that. Well, I didn't look at that. <sighs> We need to find this woman who knows about what's happening here. Yes. All right. So yeah. that's our discussion on the way. So you guys ride for a couple more hours, or a couple, another hour, and arrive <laughs> at a small town, uh, what you would describe as a town. Village? Yeah. Um, give me, uh, who has Arabic? I have a little bit of Arabic. Uh, I have some Arabic also. Wentworth. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I keep everybody, everybody, time. roll your Arabic. Is there a nope. base chance on languages that are foreign? No, there's no base chance. Uh, so no, it says one percent. One percent. There's one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, one percent. Surely you got it. Yes. Seventy one percent. So surely, uh, the the group of or I'm sorry, Eva kind of walks into town and starts like talking to some of the children and and the women who seem more approachable by her. Um, and go ahead and mark your okay. Don't mark it too far off dark. Um, and uh, she eventually like pulls away. Well, meanwhile, Mr. Weld and Mr. Cooper, you've been trying very hard, but it seems like they speak a, a strange dialect here that you're not familiar with. Um, Eva points you towards a small hovel, often a little bit in the distance, and says that would be the direction. <coughs> She's over here in this little hut thing. Mm. Well done, Miss Lickery. I guess um, Wentworth isn't bad for everything. You approach the hut, and there's a uh, woman, probably middle-aged, out in the front of it, kind of uh, or tending a small garden. Um, she, as you walk up, she stands and nods kind of deeply, almost like a bow mm-hmm. to you, and smiles. Um, a, a little bit. Um, and it's, teeth uh, no, no teeth is sh- are shown. She doesn't open. She doesn't part her lips uh, with a smile. Um, as you approach, and it's clear that you're coming towards her, she uh, speaks in a hello in Arabic. I would bow and say hello back. I bow is, as well. Is it normal for people in small villages like this to just greet white people? Well, you are walking directly towards her, and that, that would, you would have to guess that's the only reason. It's when you it's clear that you're coming to her that right. she says hello. But I mean, she's one person with five. People. Yeah, well, yeah, but the, like the town can see what you're doing too. Okay, that's the other thing. So yeah. she's not alone. Yeah, no, no, she's okay. not alone at all. Good, good. All right, tell her why we're here. Because we want to know what's happening at the bent and collapsed pyramids. Tell her that we spoke with. Uh, you don't I'm have sorry. to make your roll now if you speak, if you have Arabic oh. on your Oh, page. so we can. Yeah, it was okay. more about getting that information. If you guys had failed, it would have taken a whole lot longer. Okay, so. because Shirley does not remember details. <laughs> <laughs> Several years ago, you spoke with a Frenchman who was working for the. People, like the Carlisle, the people who went into the uh, Bent Pyramid. It, like, as soon as you say Carlisle, she kind of like stops you and then motions you to come inside. Yeah, I will come inside. Um, you enter her small hovel, you kind of have to duck down to get in, except for Eva, probably. Um, 
it's maybe five foot eight at the entrance. It's, it's a really kind of tall, small area. And inside the, the ceiling is probably not much more than six foot. So she invites all of us in. Yeah. Um, and inside you see um, what looks to be a very old and decrepit old man. Um, his jaw and both his hands have been burned away. And there's these black nubs where his hands would be. Um, it probably goes up to, I don't know, halfway through the hand. So there might still be, like, the tarsal bones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, there might still be some there, but it's all, like this black, nasty scab. And the lower half of the jaw is gone. And you can see the white of the bone, the, the upper jaw bone, just peeking out in spots. But the rest of it is black. And the teeth... It's not that they stick out, but they don't have anywhere to hide. So you can kind of see these um, blackened, and they look like they've almost been burned teeth. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll bow respectfully to him. As, as uh, he sees you, his eyes light up, um, and he starts like motioning with his arms and uh, to uh, kind of a pile off to the side and making these awful gurgling noises. I move over to the pile. Um, in the corner, amidst, amidst some blankets and some pots and some other things, is a rush basket painted with a red symbol. Uh, George, can you, uh, I guess, Jesse, you can you give me an occult or archaeology. Or either. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I made archaeology. It made bad. it! One over occult. Okay. So, Jesse, you know that the symbol on the occult, the red symbol, is a an Egyptian symbol of protection. Um... Either one of you can give me an archaeology or a geog- or geology. Nope. So I can do another archaeology? Yeah. Okay. Within the basket is a 7 by 9 inch slab of white stone, several inches thick. Its irregular edges make it very apparent that it's been broken from a larger piece of work, of work stone. Um, Either one of you can give me a spot hidden. I guess Mr. Bring is probably over there, too. Captain, are you over there? Yes, I made my uh, cult. Oh, did you? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, then you know it's a... You're staring at this this fan. Yeah, yeah so you're probably not stop. seeing it. Okay. I spot just hidden. Yeah. Really clear. Okay. Um, okay, we'll get to that. Sorry. Um, as soon as you, like pick up the stone and turn around, the light has faded from that man's eyes, and he's almost, like, slumped. Comatose? Not comatose, but, like, you remember that time when Byrne and or Wilkerson kind of lost it, Mm -hmm. and they had that glazed-over look? He has that now. Do you remember that when when that happened to Wilkerson? With the werewolf? (laughs) Yeah. You don't remember that at all. Neither do I. I mean, I remember when you did it, but I don't. Yeah. So, um... Um, who pulls it out of the basket? As soon as... I assume George did. As soon as I notice yeah. his no? demeanor no, yeah, yeah. change, I'd be like, um, guys... I kind of patch it. Can you try putting it back in the basket for just a moment? I ask if he's okay in Arabic to the woman. He has his moments. They, he comes in and out of them. <coughs> you, the basket has... Would it shield him from them? The basket has a symbol for protection on it. Maybe that oh. has to be in the basket. How did I not recognize that? What about that? No okay. change. No oh, change. Okay. Oh, what? what? Is that your son? Yes. He I'm was, assuming that's translated. Yeah. 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 He would be 28 this fall. What is this? I pointed about Something that he brought back from uh, one of the pyramids. We need to know. It, it was I, from what he help me understand it was he brought it back on um the day that uh the day that the Carlisle expedition left um Dasher. We were trying to fight the evil from the pyramid. I I know very little and the, the Europeans there, most of the Europeans there, were terribly evil. They had been corrupted. They were and corrupted by the pyramid? I don't know, by something. 
Does this Before basket? Or after? I, Sorry. No, you're free. <laughs> Okay. Does does this basket keep the corruption in? I don't believe. I, I, I don't know. I, I know that the, the protection was drawn on there so that it would keep um, others from finding it. Oh. Hmm. We need to know everything we told the Sarnia. I, I, I only that those men were corrupt. It was clear there was something evil within them. And that something was happening near Meenum. How did you know about the. the was she the one who told them about the night of the, mm -hmm. the last night of the moon? That's near Meenum. That's the thing happening near Meenum. And um, how did you know about. How did you know that night was the morning? Because people go out there and then no one comes back. Does this happen every month? Yes. Not always the same numbers. Who goes? I don't know. Had been confirmed? Maybe. From your village? No. From other villages, from the city. Is Cairo like super overpopulated at this point? Um, it's not. <laughs> yes, but it's not like sprawling overpopulated. It's very densely overpopulated. Right. So. Like especially so old Cairo, the city, the city borders are smaller, but the population is uh, well, still smaller, still, but still very, I mean, very still, dense. Yeah, yeah. Terrible. Nobody would notice a handful of people, miss, especially if they were uh, street rats or you know uh, homeless or yeah, like Aladdin. Yeah, if uh, if Aladdin went missing, no one would notice. Right. So. Um, Is there anyone in your village who knows more about these matters? No. We all know of the, the rumors of people going out to meet them. Um, no one else knew about the stone here. Everyone stays away. They feel my son has uh, received a curse from the gods. Has there any, ever been anybody trying to stop this from occurring? Not that I know of. What should we do with this piece? Please take it. I think we should keep it out of my house. If Poison she's worried, in the if she's worried about people finding it, it might be a way to bring people searching for this thing to us and into a place where we might be able to apprehend them. <coughs> An ambush. Well, uh, my thought would be to send it back to the professor to into study, research. It is sort of right up his alley. We could do both. Well, I mean, to study it, you would have to take it out of the basket, just hiding it, and go searching for it, so you let him work and prepare for the inevitable. I'm saying, pull it out, we find an advantageous location that you could scout, Captain. Arrange us, pull it out, wait a day, see who comes, and then uh, take it back to the vessel. How many? You said we had a couple days. Is it two or is it just a few days until the three, or three days until the Um. Are you guys going to step out with the basket or stay in there and discuss this in, in the house? In the, in the, uh, I feel safe staying in the house and discussing this more than I would out here. Okay. She wishes us to remove this. I want to ask, yeah, I uh, asked his son his opinion. He doesn't does. respond at all. He doesn't, okay. Does the basket have a lid? Uh, there's like blankets, or like a, uh, like a thick, coarse, like, wrap that it was If in. you want this gone, why haven't you just hidden it in the desert? Because well, it was my son's. Wrap it. Okay, while they're talking. Would he want us to take it? Clearly that's what he wanted. Um, I, I have to agree with him. Do you sense any corruption in us? Like that was in the other men. Maybe a little in the gentleman the hat. And I pick up the basket and start walking out. <laughs> but it, it's not his choice. It never yeah. <laughs> I trail off. Mm -hmm. 
well, I open my set or, you know, my satchel or whatever, and I give her one of my canteens and some food and say, okay. She bows, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May this trouble you no further. You guys head out? Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, Scott. What's your current sanity? 25. Uh, give me a luck roll. Let's see if I'm lucky enough. Lucky for you. Flip out. You are crazy, man. I gotta warm these up before I, uh, just roll the dice. Come on. If they're cold, they're real high. That's <laughs> what I found out. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> you know, I'll go to low. 87 after blowing on it. <laughs> but I, so, but I, but I, you yeah, get, yeah, yeah, cold. You yeah, get, you get, squeeze hey, freezing. hey. If you get a momentary idea that perhaps um, now that you're outside, not so dark, you should look at the stone a little bit more. Oh, yeah. So you unwrap it. Um, white. It's not white at all. It's uh, like a light pinkish hue. Like a flesh? No. No, 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 no. Okay. No, like... I was oh, all like, oh, God, God. It's, a, it's a slab of meat. Yeah, it's a slab like, of the like, thing. Like okay. pink limestone. Oh. So uh, roll your occult. Yay. Or archaeology, whichever one. Can, we I roll Can we see that he's uh, open? You'll be able to see it here in a second. I want to give at least Scott a chance to realize something and then turn insane. Three. Okay. Uh, this. Got it. This is part. Looking at it, this is part of capstone or a pyramid. There is only one pyramid that has a pink capstone. The moon pyramid. Yes. And that'll do us tonight for Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. You can join us next week. For rousing adventures and hopefully death. I mean, no death. No death. No death. That's what I meant. It's been a while since I died. Yeah. Um, you can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. You can over go over to slashloot.com to buy our shirts. And we will talk to you guys real soon. This has been a production of the Omega Nerds Network, the network where it's on.